What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, White Sox Talk Live. I am back with another video. I know it's been a couple of days. I've just been busy with some kind of stuff and just kind of wanted to take a break from YouTube. But anyway, this is this video is going to be an update on what has happened recently with the White Sox. So first, let's talk about how the series won against them. So the White Sox just finished up their last game against them about 15 minutes ago by the time I'm starting this video. And... They won two for three. They won two out of the three games in the series, which is good for the fact that they did not do very good for, against Detroit. But they're hopefully they're going to get in that winning streak of how they were before and keep getting on that because they need wins. They need this in the AL Central, even though Cleveland has just been losing games and everyone else in the division has been terrible. But yeah, they just need to keep winning games. They. Even if they do lose a game or two, that's okay. They just need to keep getting back on those streaks. And hopefully Cleveland can just keep losing. Like, I, I hate to be rude to Cleveland fans, but, like, the White Sox are, just need a big lead right now, and then they'll be fine, which they still need to win. But, yeah, that's what that's what we're hoping for. So, yeah, that that's how the series went against the White Sox, and that's what I'm hoping for in the future. But anyway, let's get into the next subject. So if you guys did not know, yesterday Yasmani Grandal was playing, and I guess he tore a tendon in his knee, sadly. He had a calf tightness a couple of games ago, but they put him back in, and I wasn't watching the game, but it looks like when he was running, he um, just tore it, and now he's going to be out for four or six weeks. And this is not good. This is not good. They they have lost so many of their big keys to this team. Granted, they have Eloy and Robert coming back soon, which I believe Eloy is supposed to start a rehab assignment soon, and then he should come back. But this is not good because the big keys they have lost this season are Yaz now, Eloy, Robert, and Madrigal. And then I think Johan might still be hurt, but I don't know that for sure. But this is not good for the White Sox. So their, their main catcher now is going to be Zach Collins, who's been pretty solid lately. I mean, you, he likes to walk a lot, which can be good at times when they need runners on base. But he, he's a pretty good catcher. He's obviously not as good as Yaz. Yaz is one of the higher end of catchers in the major leagues right now. And this is not good for the White Sox. And... We hope we can get him back right at that four-week mark as soon as possible. But anyway, yeah, that's how Yaz is doing. And let's get on to the next subject. So if you guys did not know, Adam Eaton has been uh, hurt lately. He might have been out for a couple of weeks. He has been hurt with, I believe, a hamstring injury or hamstring strain. Oh, that's kind of a tongue twister. But yeah, the White Sox D DFA'd Adam Eaton, which I believe they took him off the chart then I don't, I don't know what that means exactly um yeah but he was playing yesterday so that's good to see him getting playing time now and I think the later once he stays on the Sox and once guys aren't getting injured as much he's gonna become more of like a backup right fielder because when the White Sox weren't good and he was on the team he was a starter every day because he was the best kind of pl position player that he played for that position but now with all the young guys like Vaughn, Eloy and Robert he's not gonna, he's going to be a um he's going to be a backup player because I I'm thinking that Eloy's going to go left field Robert's going to go in center field and then Vaughn's going to go in right even though he's playing left now that's how it's going to be and then it's good that Ian's getting playing time now when he can because soon he's not going to be able to with uh, all the young guys coming back soon. So it's good to see him come back. Uh, he, he wants, I believe he would want to get in as much time as he wants before the main stars are come, going to come back. But anyway, let's get on to the last really cool clip of this video. Who needs eye drops? 1 0 into center field. Hamilton! Oh, Whoa! wow! <laughs> a make your own slip and slide for Billy Hamilton. Come on. Like it's his backyard. That is unreal. 
Well, first of all, you're getting some awful footing, and second of all, he gets a great break on this ball and somehow runs it down. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for 140 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I just thought that would be a cool clip to end on. One of the greatest catches I've ever seen in baseball with the conditions that he caught that in. And just the catch in general, that was amazing. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for 140 subs. And that's that was just an update in the White Sox in the past couple of games with all the injuries, uh, guys coming back, and amazing catches. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Peace.